Today we will learn about the mechanical unit organs of Pierre Thieven and Company of Brussels, Belgium. This instrument, known to be the third largest of the firm, is located in the Basilica of Santo Domingo Guzman in Santo Domingo de Herrera, Costa Rica. Here we will find a normal console, normal couplers, normal French expression, normal pipework, normal winding, normal mechanical action and pull-downs, normal pallets, and normal sliders. But here is where all of those normal similarities stop. As you will notice in this photograph, the pipework is laid out in octaves. Every single octave of every rank is situated side by side. When we pull away the tow board, we begin to see why. This mechanical action instrument is actually, for some stops, a unit organ. How did they do that in 1880 to 1890? We are going to learn how right now. In today's Exploration into History, we are going to use the 8-foot trompet and 4-foot clairon unit read in the Grand Org as our example. The actions you see here are representative of one octave. This octave layout looks exactly the same for each of the 12 notes. This illustration shows the location of the pipes above the tow board. C1 and C61 respectively only play on the 8-foot trompet and the 4-foot clairon. C1325, 37 and 49 all share pipes with the unit stop of the trompet clairon. For example, C13 is C2 of the trompet and C1 of the clairon and respectively the same for each of C's 25, 37, and 49. The very simple leather valves keep wind from entering the wrong channel underneath. These channels underneath are labeled in this diagram. We'll come back to this channel diagram in just a moment. I want to show you the sliders underneath and where the sliders are positioned underneath this octave action as well. Underneath this complicated action we have two very normal looking sliders. These sliders locations are labeled here. As you notice, the trumpet is behind and the clairon in front. We're going to return to our basic photo of the octave unification system and show you where the sliders go underneath. This is where the 8-foot trompette is located and this is where the 4-foot clairon is located. Now that you know where the sliders are located, where the pipes are located, and where the channels are located, we're going to switch to a live video of this action at work. There are going to be two videos here. The first is of the eight-foot trumpet alone, and the second is of the trumpet and the four-foot clairon together. Okay, play C2, C3, C4 and C5. That is the eight foot trumpet by itself. This is the four foot clarion with the eight foot trumpet. C1, C2, C3, C4 and C5. And now you know how these little Chivan organs sometimes made such a big sound 
and why these instruments should be not only preserved, but carefully restored as valuable historic artifacts to the history of organ building, regardless of the functionality or practicality or limitations of this particular type of action. This unique example of someone's original idea should be preserved for future generations of organ builders to study. The small Central American country of Costa Rica has not only this example, but two large Shivan organs which remain in playing condition. The Catedral Metropolitana in San Jose, Costa Rica, contains a yet larger three-manual Pierre Chivan and Company organ, which is played on a weekly basis. Both of these beautiful instruments not only need, but also deserve, proper maintenance and restoration, so they may continue to delight the ears of international audiences for many years to come.